All right, Shalom on this road. Once again, it's the Brother Kalab out here on the highways and byways, prophesying the downfall and destruction of Babylon the Great, the teacher repents to the, to the house of Israel, which, which consists of you so called Hispanics, Latinos, and Native Americans, and you so called African Americans. We're teaching repentance, we're preaching glad times to the house of Israel, and we're prophesying of the downfall and destruction of this, of this kingdom, which is Babylon the Great, also known as America, spiritually known as Sodom and Gomorrah. So, so before I get started, I want to give all honor and glory to my power, which is Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rehakwadash, which is the name of the Heavenly Father and the Paleo Hebrew, which is our ancient language, all right? Because why? Because we're the Israelites and we're coming back into fruition. We're coming back into knowing who we are as a people and knowing our customs and traditions, okay? Knowing how to please the Heavenly Father, returning back to our inheritance as the, as the scriptures prescribe, all right? And we, ha and we hasten for the return of the Heavenly Father that he may set up a kingdom in righteousness because we see that this place is, 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 is gone to hell in a handbasket and if, if Yah Bashem Yahshai does not shorten the days it says no flesh shall be saved meaning we'll be all consumed with the iniquity of this place Babylon the Great alright so with that I'm going to go to Isaiah which was a prophet Isaiah prophesied uh, of of the great, great destruction of Babylon the Great. All right. So I want, I got uh, Isaiah chapter 51. And 14, it says, The captive exile hasten that he may be loosed, and that, his, and, that his, and that he should not die in the pit. What's the pit? The pit is Babylon the Great. The pit is America. The, the pit is spiritually Sodom and Gomorrah. This is the, this is the revitalized Roman Empire. And Yahweh Bashem is getting ready to throw it down. That's why everything is going uh, to hell in a handbasket. And uh, you so-called white people are getting ready to be thrown into slavery. All right. Okay, for all, was, for the was, iniquities of your gonna, fathers. I was going to engage. It doesn't you, matter. We don't care. This is, this, ain't for, this is not for you. The scriptures say, what do, what do you have? The scriptures say, what do you have to do with my statutes and command? The so-called white gonna, man has nothing to do with the heavenly gonna, father. I want, can I stop? Can you stop for a second? No, I'm not going to stop for you. Absolutely not. Hey. I'm going to hell. That's okay. Man. You're going to you're going to be eradicated right. from the face of the earth, okay. all right? So-called white man because you're an Edomite, Esau Edom, okay? That's right. Thwadi al-Bashimi al All right for uh speaking on the behalf of the remnant of the nation of Israel and you fucking devils is getting ready to get thrown into captivity. Why cuz you because you think you took a hold of the scriptures and was able to was able to manipulate yourself and put your faces as the scriptures say, uh, the, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He cover the faces of the judges thereof. That's why the fucking Jehovah Witness, they got nothing but so-called uh, uh, white, white, uh, white man depicting the Heavenly Father. When according to Revelation chapter one, you're the so-called black man. That's what's getting ready to happen to you, goddamn devils. Right, you, you and your children. It says, "Happy we shall be when we dash thy little ones upon the stone." Uh, Yahweh Shimashia is going to uh, render righteous indignation for all the crimes against these white serpents. All right, the Wadi Al Bashim Al Shai. How you like that for introduction? All right, and our people, our people are janky as hell. Israel is a homeborn slave. All right, he's a docile. Our forefathers, our, our mighty forefathers, are rolling in their graves, seeing seeing you got down, you so-called Mexicans, Hispanics, and, and African Americans that are, are here standing for righteousness, standing for truth. Y'all a bunch of fucking cowards. All right, the Wadi Al Bashim Al Shai for showing us his his mighty and great works. Israel is a homeborn slave. And we're not, there's no need to go soft on these Edomites right now. We're, we have this devil backed up into the ropes and he's getting ready to be thrown into captivity. We're letting, we're giving them the judgment of our forefathers. Baruch. Baruch chapter 3 and 28 says, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for reproach and a curse, and to be subject to be payments according to all the iniquities of our father. So it was our own fault. It was our own uh, iniquities that put us in this situation. We, uh, we would uh, we would have dwelt in peace had we hearkened to the Heavenly Father, but now the wrath of the Heavenly Fathers came upon us to be, to, to be a mockery and a reproach. Among the nations, the nation of Israel. This, that's why it says, well, this, why this is what it says right here. Because it's a curse and a blessing. We, we received the curse. Ultimately, we're going to receive the blessing. Which That's the time that we're ready to, 
we're getting ready to receive. Okay, and now the now we're going into a paradigm shift. It's going to be a complete role reversal. With that I have Deuteronomy chapter chapter thirty and one. It says, "And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations, whether thou thy power hath driven thee." So we were scattered among the nations. Uh, the Spanish, Latinos, the South African Americans, the Israelites. We've been scattered among nations, the nations, and, and ultimately in this uh, fulfillment of prophecy, we're going to be coming back to our, uh, as I read in Baruch chapter 3, we're going to remember upon, it says, yet we are we are yet this day in our captivity. Yes, yes. what do you call a people that's raped, robbed, and spoiled? What do you call people that doesn't know their true heritage? What do you call people that doesn't even know who they are? They don't even know that they're, they can't, well, that's the scripture that says, uh, let me grab that through the spirit. It says, uh, it says, uh, what then Israel, Israel, uh, let me see. What then Israel, KGV, and Israel, you so called African Americans, Spanish, and Latinos? Romans chapter 11 and 7 says, What then Israel hath not, what then Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath attained it, and the rest are blinded. The rest of who? The rest of our nation. They do not consider. Uh, that we are the Israelites, that we're the children of Israel, that we're, uh, we're the holy mountain of Zion. They don't consider that the Heavenly Father has chosen us. They don't consider that we're going to reign on high above our enemies. Okay? The ox knoweth KGV. Isaiah chapter 1 and 3 says, The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master crib. But Israel doeth not know, my people doeth not consider. People do not consider that, there's, that, that, that we're, the, we're the people of the Bible. That we're the, uh, that says it, uh, Israel, uh, which pertains to uh, the adoption and salvation, the ordinances and the promises. Our people do not consider that we're in this low state because of our iniquity, because we fell away from the heavenly father okay so once again deuteronomy chapter 31 says and it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee the blessing and the curse which has set before thee and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations whither the Ottoman thy power have driven thee our people our people are we've been driven where into the americas central america mexico brazil uh the outer exteriors of western africa so so we so you so far Spanish, Latino, and Native Americans, you are the children of israel and we we were driven out of the land because we didn't hearken to the heavenly father we don't listen okay yet we're supposed to be the excellency of the world and it shows right it shows israel is the salt of the earth yet we excel in in music we excel in sports we excel in all things but yet we're considered the, the most lowest in a base when you when you think of the so-called mexican and we think of the so-called black man we were considered the, the worst of the worst we're nothing but criminals well didn't your fucking president calls didn't you your president donald trump calls a bunch of criminals right but yeah, according to the scriptures, we're the excellency of the world. Why, is, why is, has this fall upon it? Well, I'm going to read it. Because we fell away from the Heavenly Father. This, current, this came as a punishment. And we're out here in the latter times and the latter days remembering ourselves and coming back to the Heavenly Father and calling those that can receive it to turn back to the Heavenly Father, which is Yahweh Bashim Shai, the God of the Bible, the God of Israel, the God of you so-called Spanish, Latinos, and Native Americans, and call you back to your God and that you may repent and believe the gospel before he destroys you. You and your children, all right? That's what's going down here. That's the reality of, 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 of this movie that you're living in, okay? This, this ain't a walk in the park. Let's go fucking on a field trip and have fun. Guess what? As the world circles a drain, you're going to be caught out here, all right? Baruch chapter 4 and 25 says, My children, which is the children of Israel, once again, Suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from Yahweh, for thy enemy hath persecuted thee, but thou shalt sorely see his destruction and shall tread upon and shall tread upon his neck. What's that mean? That's what it means we're gonna have our enemies. Who's our enemy? Who's the one that's oppressing you? So-called Spanish, Latinos, and Native Americans, and so-called African Americans, right? Who's the one that gave you false Christianity? Who's the, who's the one that gave you a false a uh, false religion? Who has deceived you? Who controls the fact that who controls uh it says we shall go to all want we shall go to our enemies for the want of all things okay and, and jake is destroyed and good 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 riddance to jake that 
that y'all about to is getting ready to destroy our people and the two and the two thirds of so I can, the two thirds of our people and the heathen nations. Okay, the wadi al al shai. So we're to suffer patiently. See, because uh, because Jake he wants to get comfortable in this world. See, I deal with a lot of my family members, and they they have lofty positions in this life, and they and they 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 call they call themselves so called Christians, but when when you tell them the truth, see it says these people uh, these people draw these people draw near with me with their lips, but in their heart they're far from me. All right, these people are hypocrites. They don't accept the heavenly Father in His true form. They don't ex they don't accept the he the heavenly Father's judgments. So therefore, their ways are contrary to the heavenly Father. Okay, and then, and then we're supposed to be sojourners out here. We're supposed to be suffering patiently the wrath that's come upon us. But our people want to build. Our people want to build into a, a black Wall Street, to uh, Latino-only uh, businesses. Uh, they want excellency, you know, uh, Latino excellency, uh, Hispanic and Native American excellency. But that's but that that comes with the ceiling. That's that's our people being docile. What's the ceiling? The so-called white man. Y'all want to structure, restructure yourself, have an economy. But guess what? So-called devil is that is that is that is pulling the strings, and you guys are all good with that. See, that's this is not our the scripture say arise ye and depart for this is not your rest. For it is polluted shall destroy you, even with the sword of destruction. So Yahweh Shem El Shai has been in our people to escape, uh, to to uh, retract ourselves, to uh, sever our connection with this world, and, and 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 let the heavenly Father lead us. Let Him be our leader. Let Him be our fortress. Let him be our refuge. But no, our people, they want to run to the so-called white man for, for protection. But guess what? Those days are over. Yahweh Hashem has decreed a new decree. And his counsel is the only thing that's getting ready to stand. Baruch. Salakia. So Baruch chapter 4 and 25 says, My children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from Yahweh. For thy enemy hath persecuted thee. But surely thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. So our enemies we're going to have our foot over our enemies next verse 26 says my delicate ones have gone rough ways and were taken away as a flock caught of the enemies we were we were, we were gone rough ways what what rough ways uh transatlantic slave trade the inquisition of the so-called uh, uh, indigenous tribes the rape robbery of murder and pillaging and slavery of our, our peoples okay chateau slavery those are rough ways 27, Baruch chapter 4 and 27 says, Be of good comfort, O my children, and cry unto Yahweh, for he shall remember, for he shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. So we're to, we're to uh, this, this book is essentially the commandments uh, of the Heavenly Father, the commandments of life. And we're to do, as a people, we're under contract. We're into, uh, 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 unknowingly, uh, dis despite you may not know, you so-called Spanish, Latinos, and Native Americans, you are held at a higher standard. Why? Because you have a heritage, inheritance, you have a, uh, you have a God, you have law, statutes, and commandments, and the statutes and commandments say, it says, for 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 as it was your mind to go astray from the heavenly Father, so be in return seek Him ten times more. How do we seek the heavenly Father ten times more? Doing, abiding in the law, statutes, and commandments. Seeking the Heavenly Father, praying with all with all perseverance and supplication, presenting our bodies as living sacrifice, uh, following the statutes and laws and commandments to the best of our ability, departing from this world spiritually. All right. <laughs> Baruch chapter four and thirty says, "Take good heart, O Jerusalem, for he that giveth thee thy name will comfort thee." Verse thirty-one: Miserable are they that afflict. It says, "Miserable are they that afflicted thee, and rejoice at thy fall." And this now this is going to the destruction. And outer on that I'm going to uh, Baruch chapter four and thirty-two says, "Miserable are the cities that thy children suffered. Miserable is she that receiveth thy son." What they receive us to into slavery, into bondage, into into death. Gustavo Cologne, how many uh, Native Americans were killed at the hands of uh, poison? Uh, your Fauci's, right? Your your uh, deceit, all the deceit, all the uh, witchcraft, sorcery, all the things, all the um, spiritual wickedness that has been imposed on our people. Thought culture, black culture, drug culture, rap culture, all culture. What? That's what does it lead to? Satanism. What does it lead to? It leads to death. It leads to sin. Iniquity equals sin. Okay. And these cities are going to be a miserable because that's what they sold. That's what they push on our people. Okay. 
Baruch chapter 4 and 32 says, Miserable are the cities which thy children serve. Miserable is she that receiveth thy sons. Verse 33 says, For as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad at thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her desolation. For I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude, and the pride shall be turned into mourning. Yeah, pride. How, how's Yahweh Hashem going to turn that pride upside down? Well, our people and the people of the world, two thirds of our people and the people of, of this world, they're, they're, they're haunted, they're mighty, and Yahweh Hashem is getting ready to uh, abase. He's going to put down that pride. How's he going to do it? How is he doing it? He's, didn't he just crash the economy? I mean, didn't he just crash uh, uh, three major banks uh, in the United States? And, th and there's more to follow. He's going to cripple this economy. He's going to take that uh, staff of bread away. He's going to take away this pride that uh, these Babylonians have. He's going to take away that pos that lofty position that you think you have, that false sense of security. He's going to take it away. And that's coming. That's why that's why it's a great humbling coming. That's at the Wadi Al Bashim Hashem. We give thanks to the Heavenly Father for for Him doing such, right? If you bear with me here, I'm going to some of that destruction that Yah Bashim Hashem is, is bringing. Zephaniah chapter one and fourteen. It says, "The great day of the Adawan is near. It is near and hasted greatly. Even the voice of the Adawan, the mighty man, shall cry there bitter, bitterly, that the day of the that the day of a that." That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble, a distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. It says a trump. It says a. It says a day of trump, trumpet alarm against the fenced cities, against the high tower. That's that's so a great day, a great desolation is coming to. to the, the, these are the fenced cities. These are the cities. That, well, well, don't don't we have a, a border right there uh, between the uh, Mexico? This, this is what this is talking about. Okay. Babylon the Great, and Yahweh Shemesh is getting ready to throw this place down to the spirit. And th these people, these Babylonians, they say in their hearts, uh, we shall not see... They say... They say in their hearts, we shall not see evil. So that lofty pride, which is the spirit of Esau Edom, has deceived, has deceived our people. Let me see through the spirit. Hebrews chapter 3 and 10 says, Wherefore I was grieved within that generation and said, They do always err in their heart, and they have not known my ways. It says, So I swear in my wrath, they shall not enter into rest. Take heed, brethren, lest be any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living power, but exhorting one another daily. Well, it is called today, lest any of you be hardened to the deceitfulness of sin. So that's, uh, that's the seduction uh, of, of Babylon the Great. Our people um, are very seduced uh, by the pleasures that America brings. But all those pleasures come at a high price. This, like I said, these scriptures uh, tell us uh, how to uh, abide uh, here, here as captives. And we're not to uh, acclimate to this place. But see, our people don't want to detach. I'm going to go into that. Um, Arise ye and depart. KGV. Micah chapter 2 and 10 says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. This is speaking to our people, so-called Spanish, Latinos, and Native Americans, just from the nation of Israel, the real, the real Jews, the real Israelites. Micah chapter 2 and 10 says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with the sword destruction. It says, If a, it says, if a man walk in the spirit of falsehood, do lie, saying, I will prophesy unto thee. Okay. Okay, so uh, another scripture that comes to mind in regards to us fleeing spiritually, fleeing Babylon the Great spiritually, it says, I believe I, that ye, I, I have, uh, that ye, I just got this, ye, ye may not be partakers, KGV.
of her since KGV. Beautiful. Revelations chapter 18 and 4. And then this, this chapter goes into the, I believe, yeah, this is going to be into the destruction, the reward of Babylon the Great, which is America. It says, Revelation chapter 18 and 4 says, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. Okay, my people, if you're, if you're familiar with the scriptures, that's speaking to the nation of Israel, the remnant of the nation of Israel. Who are the Israelites? My, uh, you, that, would, that would be something of, if salvation is for the Israelites, according to the scriptures, then wouldn't that behoove you to find out who the Israelites are in these modern times? The real Israelites, you so-called Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the people that have been afflicted, the ones that have been oppressed. That's who Yahweh Bashim Yahushua is dealing with, the Heavenly Father. So it says, saying, come out of her, my people. That's that's direct. That's in detail. That's exclusive. It says, saying, come out of her, my people, that ye may not, that ye be not partakers of her sin, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sin reaches unto heavens, and Yahweh hath to remember her iniquity, iniquities. Re reward her even as she has rewarded you and double unto her according to her works in the cup which she in the cup which she has filled filled unto her double how much has she glorified herself and lived deliciously so much torment give her for she, this is what this is now this is the spirit of of these babylonians this is the spirit of our people this is the spirit of esau edom the so-called white man this is the spirit of the the people that the most high has an indignation against it says how much has she has she glorified herself she's speaking of america and lived deliciously so much torment and sorrow give her for she said in her heart now this is the mindset of the people within it says for she said in her heart i sit a queen and i am no widow and shall see no sorrow that's that's how the heathen think that's how these lofty and prideful people think but according to the scriptures yahweh Bashimishra has a great day that he's getting ready to uh, fulfill Okay. Let me see. I just do a spare. I want to go to Yahweh Shemesh has an, an intent and purpose. I believe is. Yahweh Shemesh has declared, and who shall disannul? He has made a promise and an oath to our forefathers. He has sworn by an oath to give his people. To give his uh, his people a, a, a kingdom, a land that flows with milk is, uh, with milk and, and honey. And Yahweh Bashim Yahshah, the God of the Bible, he's not a respecter of persons. I know it's in Jeremiah, man. I, I've seen it today. Beautiful. In Jeremiah chapter check this out Jeremiah chapter 11 and 2 says hear ye the words of this covenant and speak unto them and to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem which that's uh, that's speaking in regards to the northern and southern kingdom and saying to them thus saith the Adawan God of Israel cursed be the man that obeyeth not the words of this covenant see we're under contract who? So-called Israelites, so-called Spanish and the Latinos and Native Americans. Verse 3 says, And say thou unto them, Thus saith the Adawan, Yahweh of Israel, Cursed be the man that obeyeth not the words of this covenant, which I command your fathers in the day that I brought them forth out of the land of Egypt. From the iron furnace, saying, Obey my voice, and do them according to which I command you, so shall ye be my people, and I will be your power. That's what we have laid up for us. So we have our, a heavenly father laid up for us, which is going to perform a mighty act and going to and going to make good on the promises that he has that he has sworn to our for, our our mighty forefathers. See, but our people do not believe. Our people are comfortable in this land of Egypt. Who is our people? Hispanics, Native Americans, and so-called African Americans. Those are two Israelites. Those are the real Israelites of the, all the holy scriptures. Okay. So what I which this leads me to expound on, which is the next, which is the next verse. Our people they have become comfortable in this place. They're not moving according to the will of the heavenly Father, but yet they're they're moving according to the will of their minds. They they think that they're going to be able to set up their own heaven here on earth. They think they're going to that build building that through, through money, that through possessions, that through status, that through uh, these these. Uh, these vain 
things that hold no value in the end because it's all going to be turned to vanity. They think that, that they're going to have a hedge of protection, that they're going to have a, a place of fortitude, of refuge in the things that America, uh, the white man gives them, but they're, they're, they're totally fooled. Okay? That's going to wither away. But the thing that's not going to wither away is the word of the Heavenly Father. That shall stand. Okay? So, 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 uh, so what I'm, what I wanted to say was, uh, you might have, uh, you so-called Spanish, Latinos, and Americans, you might have, uh, what you think you, you might think you have it all figured out, or you might think that you're building up your own hedge, but guess what? Uh, the heavenly father is not a respecter of persons and, and your plans don't mean shit. All right. Just, just to sum it up that way, the, your plans, according to your mind, doesn't mean shit. The only thing that, that matters is the will and the purpose of the heavenly father. And it's going to disannul. It's going to throw a monkey wrench in everything that you have planned and, 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 and laid up for yourself in this place. Why? Because this is not your rest. This is not the place of the Most High Yahweh Hashim has given you to dwell in peace. All right? Yahweh Hashim has something else laid up for us. But you fucking idiots want, want to make it your way. But guess what? Your way is going to go to, to hell in a handbasket. Yahweh Hashim is going to shit on your ways. All right? You got down. Man, our people, man. Our people, man. They make them. I, I I'm very, very much stirred up. Today, in regards to our people, because our people are, are, are some home bowl, home born ass, docile ass, sambo ass, ass kicking, cracker ass, kissing ass people. All right. Jeremiah chapter 11 and 5. It says that I may perform the oath which I have sworn unto your father. This is the intent purposes of the heavenly father. It says that, that, I, it says that I may have performed the oath which I have sworn unto your fathers to give them the land, to give them a land flowing with milk and honey as it is. As it is this day, then answered I and said, So be it, O Adawan. The Lord said unto me, Proclaim all these words in the city of Judah and the streets of Jerusalem, saying, Hear ye the words of this covenant and do them. For I earnestly protest unto your fathers in the day that I brought them out of the land of Egypt, even unto this day, rising early and protesting, saying, Obey my voice. Yet they obeyed not, nor inclined thy ear. And that's our people this day. But walked, but walked everyone in the imagination of their evil hearts. And where does, where, does, where does that start? Where does transgression start? It starts with pride. Therefore, I will bring upon them all the words of this covenant, which I command to them, but they, but they did them not. So that's why we're in the, that's why we're in the, that's why it says, in the land of their captivity, that shall think upon my name. Because why? Because now we understand that what we're remembering ourselves in these, in these latter days. And we're coming back to, uh, to, to, uh, to the knowledge of the heavenly father. Okay. Well, at least the remnant, the elect is. And which that is a fulfillment of prophecy in itself, which is a mark and an indicator of the time that we're living in, which is which should be a fearful uh, indication to you people that ain't right with the Heavenly Father. Because because that's a, that's a fulfillment of prophecy, which is the indicator that guess what? We're, we're at the end of this thing uh, and, and we're doing as commanded. We're rising up boldly, speaking of uh, speaking. Uh, uh, we're standing boldly uh, before the faces of them that have, the, uh, that have afflicted us and made no account for our labors. Second Ezra chapter 15 and 1 says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put, which I will put in thy mouth, say it to Adawan, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. That's, that's us abiding in the fear of the Heavenly Father. And the, and the Most High, He gives us commandments, He fortifies us with strength he fortifies us with truth he fortifies us like men what's being a man huh can, can you fucking tell me that what's being a man according to the bible according to your law you so-called Hispanics, native americans so-called african americans what's being a man i'll read it to you what's being a man right now being a man according to the bible is is keeping the charge of the heavenly father who's the heavenly father dealing with you so-called hispanics latinos native america y'all the true israelites that's why we're in the worst condition that we, we could ever be but yet according to the scriptures we're supposed to be the excellency of the world right but what's the world think what do these white people think about you what do these asians think about you what do these fucking arabs think about you they, they see they, they fucking think we're nothing but spinks out here they don't mean shit but guess what we have the heavenly father on our side which is guess what he's getting ready to bring a righteous indignation upon our enemies Upon these wicked ass nations that have made no account for our labors, that have oppressed us, that have uh, raped, robbed, and murdered our people and stolen our lands. The Most High requires that which is past. Just because a judgment is not uh, a given, a, uh, judgment is not, uh, uh, it's not uh, received speedily, 
Y'all about to me on Shabbat And if you're familiar with the scripture, then you understand that it's eye for an eye. He who leads into captivity shall go into captivity. Uh, prepare slaughter for the iniquity of their fathers that do that they not that, that they do not rise nor possess the land. Happy how she be he, happy he shall be that dashes thy little ones upon thy stones. Okay, that's the indignation of the heavenly Father that's getting ready to happen to you fucking Edomites for all the crimes that you've done to the world and to and to the people of the Most High. Y'all touch the apple of the Most High's eye. You thought you were gonna get away with it. You think that's true? You think you so-called white devils will be able to commit all this atrocity and not and not render recompense? Now guess what? Now you got to pay for it, and guess who else? Your children's got to pay for it. Prepare slaughter for the iniquity of their fathers. How about that one? So y'all about Shimei Ashai is not a respecter of persons. He doesn't care about your position in life. He doesn't care that you're a fucking a judge. He doesn't care that you're a district attorney. He doesn't care that you're a banker. He doesn't care that you're a world now. He doesn't care that you're fucking, you're in league with this crusty devil. He don't care about that. Y'all about Shimei Ashai is going to kill your ass. Through the spirit. All right, I'm going to continue. Put my sword down. So we're doing as commanded. We're speaking. Second Nehemiah chapter 15 and 1. Behold, speak down to the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I'll put in thy mouth, saith the Adawan, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. And once again, I was saying, the Most High, he fortifies us with strength. It says, Fear not the imaginations against thee, lead, lead not the. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Lead not, let not the incredulity of them that trouble thee, that speak against thee. Verse 4 says, For all the unfaithful shall die of their unfaithfulness. Hey, all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Guess what? Verse 5 says, Behold, says, Behold, saith the Adawan, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sore, famine, death, and destruction. Verse 6 says, For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and the hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore, saith the Adawan, I will hold my tongue no more as touching the wickedness which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in them things. Neither will I suffer them in them things which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cried unto me, and the souls of the just. He said, and the souls of the just complain continually, and that's what we're doing through the Spirit. We're standing boldly and stiffly for the names of the Heavenly Father, for our heritage, for our inheritance. Okay, which is nothing but glory. But see, our people they got comfortable in this world. They, they, they fucking threw in the flag Like some sore ass losers They submitted to the fucking enemy They submitted to you goddamn crackers But guess what The man of the Lord We don't We don't submit you to your ass We tell you your judgment We tell you that you're about to get thrown into captivity You're about to go into a thousand years of uh, uh, brutal bondage You're going to pay an eye for eye For the iniquities of your fathers Okay And then you're going to be cast down to utter darkness You're going to be exterminated in a, And you're going to be exterminated From the face of the earth Because because everything that the white man expounds Leads to death He is a death culture Okay And say it's not true and, oh, That's why all the nations All the other nations And they're saying We're we going to war with America We don't, get, we don't got to listen to you fucking crackers That's the spirit right now the, this, this hegemony of the so-called white man is through his grips upon the earth is dude, but that's why he has to throw. That's why he has to conveniently uh, set up a fucking new world order because he thinks, because he knows that he's. a uh, uh, Well, the scriptures. I'll give it to you right now. Before I do, I have wisdom of Solomon chapter five and one says, "Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such that have afflicted him and have made no account of his labors." Okay, verse two says, "When they see it, they shall be in terrible fear." And shall be amazed at the strangers of his salvation. Strangers of who? Of the salvation of who? Of the Heavenly Father. Why is it going to be strange? Because they don't expect you so called Hispanics, Latinos, Native Americans, so called African Americans to be risen up out of the ashes, to be put on high, to be exalted above all the nations, to be given crowns and a scepter of rulership and dominion upon your enemies. You don't expect that. Our fucking people are stupid. And go fucking over here, go uh, work all day and to give your money to some fucking ass bitch ass whore, right? Probably sucking off, your, your wife's probably sucking off another guy's dick, right? That's what you do. That's what our people do. Fucking lot, they're fucking soft, bro. So called Hispanics and Native Americans and so called African Americans are fucking soft, bro. Do the spirit. But hey, guess what? The man, the man of the Lord, 
were the true men of the Lord were keeping the charge of the Heavenly Father. And I'm going to tell you what, what being a man is. All right? What's being a man? Let's see. Let's find out what being a man is. First Kings chapter two and one says, "Now the days of da now the David now the days of David." First Kings chapter two and one says, "Now the days of David drew nigh that he should die, and he charged Solomon and his sons, saying, I go, I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong thereof, and show thyself a man.'" Verse three says, "And keep the charge of the idol on thy power to walk in his ways and to keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgments and his testimonies at his writ." As it is written in the law of Moses, that thou mayest prosper in that all that doest, and whatsoever thou thou turnest, and whatsoever thou turnest thyself, that the Ottawa may continue his word, which he spoke concerning to me, saying, If thy children take heed to the way to walk before me in truth, with all their heart and with all their souls, there shall not fall thee, said he, a man on the throne of Israel. All right? So that's what's being a man is to keep the charge of the heavenly father, to keep our laws, statutes and commandments in remembrance. That's what these fringes represent. These rep these fringes and this border of blue represents your heritage, represents what, what being a man is. So-called Spanish, Latinos and Native Americans. That's what it represents. Standing boldly upon the faces of them that have made no accounts of your labors, standing so boldly in the face of your, and your enemies. But guess what our people do? They fucking bend over backwards. For this weak ass devil, all right? That's our people. All right, that's our people. That's why Yahweh Shem has to destroy this place. Okay, we lost our way. We lost our fucking, we lost our manhood. We lost everything that makes us a man. That's why Yahweh Shem is getting ready to destroy this place. I just kind of want to see where I want to go with now. We, uh, we're to keep the charge of the Heavenly Father, to obey the law, statutes, and commandments. We're to, uh, we're to hearken diligently unto the Heavenly Father. We're, uh... Job chapter 22. Job chapter 22 and 20 says, Whereas our substance is not cut down, but the remnant of them that, but the remnant of them the fire consumeth, acquainteth now thyself with him, and be at peace, whereby good shall come unto, unto thee. Receive, I pray thee, the law from his mouth and lay up his words in thy heart. You know, this is us coming back to our Heavenly Father. This is what we're supposed to be doing, that we may be accounted worthy to escape all the, uh, all the things that, are, that, that must come to pass. All, uh, all this calamity, all this uh, pestilence, all these plagues that are getting ready to hit Babylon the Great. You know, we're to seek the Heavenly Father ten times more. Joel chapter 20, 22 and 23. 22 and 22 says receive i pray thee the law from his mouth and lay up your words in thy heart if thou return to the almighty thou shalt be built up thou shalt put away iniquity far from thy tabernacles then thou shalt and that's that's us keeping the uh, that's keeping uh, 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 the law then thou shalt lay up gold and dust and gold of orphur as the stones of thy books brooks he the Almighty shall be thy defense, and thou shalt have plenty of silver. For then thou shalt have, for then shalt thou have thy del delighted in the Almighty, and shall lift up thy face unto Yahweh. All right, that's what we're supposed to do. You know, what's what we're supposed to do as men? Seek, seek the heavenly Father. Uh, 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 seek the heavenly Father first. Let me see, and also, which which is. Uh, uh, you know, which is seeking the kingdom. Seek. 
Matthew chapter uh, 6 and 33. But seek ye the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for tomorrow. See, that's what our people, because our so people are, uh, they lack faith. There's, uh, our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Uh, they, they lack faith. They, uh, they are, they're, they don't have faith in the Heavenly Father. They have no connection with the Heavenly Father, so therefore they're double-minded, right? But Yahweh Shemashai tells us what we need to do, even myself, right? But seek ye the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for tomorrow, for tomorrow shall I take though for the things is sufficient. It says, for tomorrow shall I take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. And we and, and, and according to the and regarding the times that we're getting ready to experience, we want to be laying our treasures up in heaven, which I, that's what I'm going go into right now. We want to uh, we want to uh, we want to uh, profess our love to the heavenly father with with our faith and our works. OK, lay for your so and this is beautiful because this really does correlate in regards to the spirit I was in in regards to our people. Because our people, they they want to lay themselves up. They want to lay the uh, treasure. They want to lay treasures uh, for themselves upon the earth. But these these treasures upon the earth, they're corruptible. They lose value. They they will become vanity, and very shortly they'll be they'll be as nothing. Because you see where the economy is going. You see where the, uh, you see where uh, where America is is headed to complete ruin. So there is no there is no future. Right. There's no like this. They say there's no future in your front. You know, Jake, there ain't no future in your front. This place is done. You know, it's like pretty much like why would you try to build on a sinking vessel? Why would you why would you build like right at this point, seeing that the world is about to be destroyed? Right. Why would you why would you seek out a, a, a five year college? Why would you even buy a home? You know, See, because our people, because our people, they trust in vanities. They trust, they trust in oppression. They trust in, in things that's not convenient for them. But, but we, but, but us, we have something laid up for us, which is greater than all these worldly things that man can offer us, right? We have laid up what the heavenly Father has, has promised us, right? Given we hearken to, to we, we, we hearken to His will, to the heavenly Father, then we have, we have a greater substance. Matthew chapter six and nineteen says. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon the earth, where moth and rust doeth corrupt, and where thieves through, where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doeth corrupt, where thieves do not break through and, and steal. For where your heart is, there will your heart be also. Our heart, our hearts are meditating on the kingdom. Our, our hearts are meditating on the heavenly Father. That's why in these times. Uh, these times of calamity, these times of distress. And I have, I, I could go to it. I know. Isaiah, see, in these times of distress, this word is what's gonna, is, is what's gonna uphold us. It's what's gonna keep us upright. Isaiah chapter thirty-three and six says, "And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and the strength of salvation. The fear of the Ottoman is his treasure." Behold, the valiant one shall cry out, and the ambassadors of peace shall weep bitterly. The highways lie waste, and the wayfaring man ceases. The, the, like the rejoicing man, he that he that broke the covenant, he has despised the cities. He regardeth no man. And so, uh, this wisdom and knowledge of the heavenly Father is going to keep, uh, give us a stable mind. So, uh, and to that, what does what does uh, what does the scripture say? What's the beginning of wisdom? The fear of the heavenly Father. What's the, uh, how do we fear the Heavenly Father? By being obedient. What's being obedient? To uh, keeping the charge of the Heavenly Father. Therefore, Yahweh Bashem Shai, what? What's he going to do? It says, I will, I will keep them. And it goes on, and I'm going to grab the other one that's that's really relevant to the time. That, and that's a beautiful thing that, that, that i be able to go into to the Spirit. Isaiah chapter 26 and 3 says, Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is set upon thee, because he trusts in thee. We trust in the Heavenly Father, okay? How uh, about you to put that spirit upon us? That uh, which is going to fill us up with stability. Okay? How about you to 
Hashem is gonna, gonna give us that ingredient we need to overcome these things that must come to pass. What's, what's a prophecy that's getting ready to come through? And we see it already formulating. It's gonna be the hour of temptation, the MOTB, this new world order that these fucking Edomites, these goddamn white devils that they seek to establish. They seek to establish their own righteousness. They seek to establish their own kingdom. But guess what? Yahweh Bashim is getting ready to throw it down. Okay, so, so the world, and this is what this is talking about. Uh, the world is gonna be tested. Revelations chapter three. Let's lock it. Check this out. We'll, we'll, of course, we're gonna go. I'm gonna go into that one next, but I want to grab something here. You know, we want, we want to, we want to keep our integrity in the heavenly Father, uh, um, and that's what, yeah, that's how Yahweh Bashim is going to give us that wisdom, knowledge, and stability. And then, why do we want to keep uh, uh, our integrity? Uh, for, um, why do we want to keep our integrity to, towards the heavenly Father? Because we understand this preaching of the word that break, that's breaking down these strongholds. That this preaching of, of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Uh, there, there is a correlation between the preaching of this gospel of the kingdom, which that goes into Matthew chapter 24. I believe it's Matthew chapter 24 and 13 that this preaching of the, once this preaching of the gospel is preached on the four corners of the earth, then the end shall come. But we have prophecies that must come to pass. Uh, well, they're, they're going to try to hinder this word pop by persecuting the man of the heavenly father. See, we're, see, we're the only, we're the only real factor, the only real thing truth against a spiritual demon Satan and this white devil uh, against his new world order plan. We're the only real uh, combatant, spiritual combatant because we're, we're, we're speaking the truth. Revelations chapter 2 and 10 says, fear none of those things but thou shalt suffer. Behold the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried and ye shall re receive. It says that ye may be tried and ye shall have tribulation 10 days. Be thou faithful unto death and I will give thee a crown of life. Okay? So whether we live, whether we die, we are the Lord. So we trust in the Heavenly Father. Okay, the scriptures say, uh, uh, "So we will uh, says we will uh, we will fall we will fall into the hands of the, the Heavenly Father, then fall into the hands of men." Okay, Revelation chapter two and eleven says, "He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. He that he that overcometh shall not hurt of the second death." And we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be established. Okay, so we want to keep our integrity and in, in Hamashi Yahweh Shai. It says whether we die in Hamashi, it says whether we live. Uh, let me grab that scripture. You got to be faithful until the end. So whether we die, or whether we live, we we're, we're uh, Romans chapter fourteen and eight says, for whether we live, we live unto the Lord, and whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live, therefore, or die, we are the Ottawans. We are the heavenly fathers. Who, who, who are the heavenly fathers? The elect remnant of the nation of Israel. You so-called, you so-called Israelites. Well, you Israelites, which would be you so-called Spanish, Latinos, and Native Americans, would be so-called African Americans. But we have been deceived by the devil. Right, the devil, the so-called white man, which is Christianity, and we have been stripped away, and we have been stripped away of all knowledge of self through plantation Christianity, which gave us a white Jesus, which is not according to the scriptures, which is not according to none of the prophecies in this holy scriptures, and our people have been deceived. Revelation chapter three and ten. And this is what Yahweh Bashim is going to do for for those men that stood so boldly uh, for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. Revelation chapter three and ten says, "Because thou hast kept the word of thy patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth." What's the, what's the hour of temptation? Well, you have all these train derailments, right? Well, you have all these banks collapsing. Why you have all these short food shortages? Why you have all these? Uh, food processing places being destroyed well this white devil he's getting ready to roll out a famine he's getting ready to put you people up against the ropes for what for him to roll out his new world order what's his new world order is the mark of the beast 
He's gonna, and I'll go into that to the spirit, Revelation chapter 13. He wants to put a microchip in you and your children because he wants to subjugate you to a, he wants to self proclaim himself as a God. Okay, but Yahweh Hashem Yashai has reserved 7,000 men that's not going to bow the knee, which is speaking of the remnant of the elect. And those are the ones that's going to overcome. Revelation chapter 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon the world to try them that toil upon the earth. It says, Behold, I come quickly, hold thou fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. So we're not supposed to take this mark through the Spirit. We're supposed to hold fast to the names of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Revelations chapter 3 and 16. This is a, this is part of the New World Order, which is the MOTV. It says, And he called all both. And he calls all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hands or in their foreheads. This is what this devil uh, seeks to fulfill. And that no man might buy or sell, save he have the mark or the or the name or the number of or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that understood, under, let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of man, and his number is six hundred and three score. This is what the, this is what this devil is devising for the world, all right. Which is the hour of temptation he seeks to establish, all right. But Yahweh Shem uh is tells us to be uh, to have integrity, to uh, to uh, to be strong, to lay a hold on life. And, and and there's a prophecy which is in Revelation chapter 15 and 2 says and I, and these are the ones that had victory over the beast and the scripture is uh and the scriptures also say it says thanks be to the out one that gave us the victory a the remnant the elect we already have the victory we just have to play this out in the physical and we have to remember these scriptures and we have to fortify our minds uh and have to fortify our faith and and and, uh, and you know to put on uh to put on the uh the breastplate uh you know Put on the, uh, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of, you know, Ephesians chapter six, right? Um, that we may that we may uh, be able to combat, roughly paraphrase, right, against all the wiles of the devil, to be able to stand in that day, that day what, that day of temptation. Revelation chapter fifteen and two says, and I saw as there were a sea of glass mingled with fire, and then that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark. And over, and over the number of his name, standing on the sea of glass, having the harps of Yahweh. Okay, we, that's the reign of the elect. They have, they're the ones that was be able to, uh, we, we pass the, that test, our temptation, and to the spirit. And this devil already knows the truth. That's why God, every fucking day, this goddamn white devil, he, every day he's got to be telling you some damn lie. Like, God damn, how much lies do you got? Can you even, uh, where do you get this shit? See, all, they say all these uh, unidentified, unidentified flying aircraft. They, oh, it's aliens. It's hell. No, that's, that's the heavenly father and his angels getting ready to smite the fucking earth. That's what it is. All right. You got to believe this goddamn devil every fucking time. Shit. That's why the heavenly father is done. He's done. He's done with this place. This place is done. Look at this place. It's Saturday. Supposed to be uh, popping out here, and this this shit that even they try to front out there like they're happy, and they ain't happy, man. They, everybody knows that this place is going to hell in a handbasket. All right, this 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 shit's done. You're gonna fucking die, you idiot. Hey, I'm gonna put a curse on this uh a ball, but ball uh y'all about to try to destroy his ass. All right, because you know what? That's what our people need. They 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 they're gonna have to deal with this through pain. All right, that uh, they're gonna uh, he he said uh, hell Satan, hey. We already clearly know through the spirit and especially doing it to, you know, do it to the uh, the men of the Lord. Or Lord's will we be, you know, he, we, we don't know. But if, if it is, hey, what, what kind of blasphemy is that? You know, you're putting yourself you're putting yourself out there like that, bro. And guess what? The Heavenly Father, man, he's, 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 he, he ain't happy right now. He, he ain't never been happy until until uh, until until we make Jerusalem a praise. That's when when the earth is going to rejoice. OK. And that's what we seek to do through the spirit. I'm Adam Ratazah. That might be the last uh, scripture that came to mind because the Heavenly Father gave it to me um, until he make Jerusalem a praise. And there's so much going on right now in the world. 
You have uh, uh, over there in France, they're upwards of the people. You have Trump. Trump's about to get arrested on Tuesday. You have uh, uh, international banks crashing. You have uh, what else is going on? You have train uh, every day. There's a new train that derailed with chemical spills. There's all kinds of madness is going down. And you people still think you have a future laid up for yourselves here. No, y'all about to see smiting this place. Isaiah chapter 62 and 7, it says, and give him no rest till he established until he made Jerusalem a praise in the earth. The auto have sworn by his right hand and by the arm of his strength. Surely, well, it says, surely I will no more give thy corn and meat to thy enemies. Hey, because these, because all our enemies that have oppressed us, they have benefited off the, off the backs of so-called Hispanics, Native Americans, so-called African Americans. There's going to come a time where the Yahweh Hashem and that's the, that's the, uh, the fulfillment uh, of the time of the Gentiles. These, these Gentiles, they're getting ready to get cut off from their lofty position. There's going to be a role reversal. Yahweh Hashem is going to give, give us into the hands of our enemies, where they, uh, where we're going to, uh, we're going to. Uh, Ultimately have them in derision. We're going to put these fucking crackers in slavery. Isaiah chapter 62 and 8 says, The Ottawa has sworn by his hand, by his right hand, and by the arm of his strength, surely I will no more give thy corn to be meat for thy enemies. Who's the enemies of the Heavenly Father? Who's the enemies of the so-called uh, so Spanish, Latinos, and Native Americans? Who's the God of the Bible? The God of Israel. So the enemies of the Heavenly Father, the heathen nations, these so-called white men, they have, have nothing but committed atrocities and crime and bloodshed upon the earth. That's why this place, America, is circling the drain. And that's why Yahweh Shem is going to have you and your children in derision. Okay? The, the Lord, the odd one has sworn by his right hand and by the arm of his strength. Surely I will no more give thy corn to be meat for thy enemies and the sons of the strangers shall not drink thy wine for the wish the house labored. But they have, but they have, but they have gathered it shall eat it. The praise of Ottawa and they that have bought, brought it together shall drink it in the courts of my holiness. The Wadi Al That's the, that's the, uh, what Yahweh Shem Al Shai, has sworn to give us a land with, and it says, and I, this is what Yahweh Shem Al has laid up for his remnant. Okay, I will bring them them into the land KGV. This is what Yahweh Shemesh is getting ready to do for the children of Israel, for the remnant of the children of Israel, I should say, through the spirit right here. Isaiah chapter 30 and 3 says, For lo, the days come, saith the Adawan, and our Lord's will, I don't want to these days are here. These days are nigh. These days are just literally around the corner. Jeremiah chapter 30 and 3. For lo, the days come, saith the Adawan, that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah, saith the Adawan, and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave unto their fathers to possess it. It says, and these are the words that the Ottawa spoke concerning Israel and Judah. For thus saith the Ottawa, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not peace. Ask ye now and see whether a man do to roll with child. Where the, wherefore I, wherefore do I see every man with, that's what, yeah, you know, so that's what, uh, what comes with the salvation uh, of the nation of Israel. Uh, it coincides with the destruction. And that's why this, that's why the prideful man, uh, the lofty, uh, this lofty nation that is, that which is above us, Esau, Edom, and all the other heathen nations and the two thirds of our people, they're going to be brought low. Okay. Ask ye now and see whether a man do travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail and all face on the and all the faces are turned and are turned all faces are turned into paleness. All right. So Dwadi Al Bashim Al Shah for making good on his words and uh bringing bringing this thing to a close and and to remembering uh his the promises that he had uh he had promised into our forefathers and to make good on his word at the Wadi Abashim Al Shah, we give thanks to the Heavenly Father, you know, for 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 his mercy, for his righteousness, and for his marvelous work. So we thank Yah Bashim Al Shah, the Heavenly Father, for his for his great glory when we speak of it. So I'm just gonna end it right here to the spirit. I have more that I could go into. I don't want this all I'll, I'll save it for a hey, our Lord's will tomorrow. Uh Lord's will tomorrow, right? Uh, second uh, slot is
First Chronicles to lock you. First, first, first Chronicles chapter 16. And A says, give thanks unto the outer one, call upon his name, make his deeds known among the people. Verse 9, sing unto him, sing songs unto him, talk ye of all his wondrous works. Verse 10 says, glory ye in his holy name, let the heart of them rejoice that seek the outer one. Verse 11, seek the outer one in his strength and seek his face continually. So that's the push for the day. Uh, he's making good on his promises and he's getting ready to give his children up out of here, okay? The captive exiles, uh, the captive exile hasten that he may be loose, that, that he should, that his bread shall not fail and that he shall not die in the pit. We see Yahabashimashai making good on all these prophecies. So with that, I want to give all honor and glory to my power, which is Yahweh Kala Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim Rahakadash. Hey. Double honors to the Apostle Great Millstone and Tosses his truth and who were well. I want to give a humble citation to the hopeful elect pushing his work in truth and sincerity. I say Shalom.